Hello guys. Um, today we are actually going out. I need to go shopping. Um, because we are currently mostly out of food, and so you're gonna see my uh, shopping routine. I take this bag right here. I need to empty it out of my D&D stuff first. And then, um, I walk about. I'll put in the screen how much, how long it is. But I walk to Walmart. And, sorry, it's kind of dark. Um, and go shopping. Okay, I was looking for something, I found it. Okay, so I gotta finish getting ready. Yeah, just in case you don't know what D&D is, um, it's a Dungeons and Dragons. It's the role playing game. And I played this ever since high school. I started out with 3.5, but now I play 5 point, which is my main one that I like to play. Um, I have currently have two D D groups. One plays three point five and the other plays five point. So I'm going to the three point group tonight. I made it home and I went to the vlog after I was done but I had cold stuff so I needed to get home quickly and hold on I'm trying to now the hard part getting it off my back uh -huh. as you can see my routine when I have when I go shopping, I put as much as I can in my bag and the rest I have to carry. Because I do not drive. And yes, it's a pain sometimes, but it's a choice I made and I deal with it. Because Uh, when I drive, I'm not completely confident in my ability to do it, and so I'm not only putting myself at risk, but I put everybody else on the road at risk. So I chose not to drive. I drove for about a year, my about a year and a half, because I got my license. Um, <laughs> I had glass in there. Shit. <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. It was padded. Okay. I drove for a year and a half uh, during my junior, sophomore, uh, junior, senior year. I got my license halfway through my junior year, which was a feat because I was scared to death of the road even back then. And. So, but after high school, I would just, I chose to walk around, 
because of gas prices and just idiots on the road. I didn't trust them. And so after a while, I just kind of abandoned driving and I, I walk. And of course, my parents weren't too happy. They still aren't happy with me about not driving because it would be nice. Yes, it would. But you do what you feel is safer for you. And not only that, I have a, a anxiety attack when I get behind the wheel. So, because I've never gotten a crash, I've gotten pulled over uh, multiple times, but nothing too too big. It was just because I wanted to go with the speed limit on the highway, or I would take a turn too wide. Um, nothing too big. I never got a ticket or anything. But, uh, they're just, when I decided to walk, there's just something about it that, trying to get the cold stuff away. There's just something about walking and it just, it's sacred. I guess you could say, that's how I view it. It's something that is, uh, I feel at home when I'm on, when I'm walking the street. Cause I pretty much grew up walking, uh, exploring my, well, I wasn't born there, but I was right there, uh, walking on Emmett. I know <laughs> about five ways out of that town. And, you know, I, I know pretty much all the secret roads and stuff. And it's just, it's just really fun. But the way I see it, compared to driving, is, uh, I chose to live life in the slow lane, I guess you can say. Because when you're driving, you're driving to get the point A to point B the fastest way you can possible, and not taking in the joy of just what you have around you. And that's what walking does for me. I take in the scenery. Uh, I am both with myself when I walk. Sometimes I have people with me. Uh, but most of the time I am by myself. And I love, love night walks. Night walks are awesome. Of course, you know, you get the most where they are scary, but night walk never bothered me. And my, I was turned on to night walks um, after high school. My my best friend uh, Bianca, uh, she took me on my first night walk, and we walked the alleyways, which is kind of dangerous, even in the small town that we lived in. But we would carry pens up our sleeves. And so that was my introduction to night walks. And I've just, I fell in love with them. So I do apologize about the camera movement. <laughs> I still have to get comfortable where to hold it and stuff. So. I think I have everything put away. So now I have the data myself because it seemed like I'm not going to my friend's house like I thought it was. Life gets in the way a lot over there. And so, uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty much home all day, which will be nice. I'll be able to get some writing done uh, because I'm kind of lacking on that. and. But it seems, I think what I'm going to do with uploading these vlogs is do week, uh, weekly vlog day by day and then upload Friday or Saturday whenever I get in it. So when I upload it will be a week worth of vlogs. They won't be cut together, they will be individual, but it will be a week worth. And so I think that's going to be the easy way for me to do this um, until I get in internet here. So, but for now, oh shit, whoops, my bad. 
but for now I'm going to relax that's a long walk in that heat and my shoulders are hurt and I need to eat so we will see you later all right guys so I have something to tell you something that makes me very very excited so I've been working on a book called Gates of the Mind and it's a fantasy book. I've been working on this book for seven years. Three rewrites and I finally got it to where I am comfortable with it. It's not perfect quite yet but it's getting there. Uh, the people that I play with at D&D um, their mom played with us and she's, uh, she works in the publishing business, she's a self-publisher and um, she read my book. Now this is the first time that I've ever had somebody read the book that was not a close friend and I mean she, she's a friend, don't get it wrong, but she didn't know me from playing D D with me. She doesn't know me on a personal level like uh, Misty or some of my other friends who know me. And so I got a small update from her uh, yesterday. She's early on in part two and she's a little confused, which I can understand that. But the thing that makes me happy, she's intrigued to read on. She may be confused, but she wants to read on to see if it does make sense in the end, which is something that I, that is how I write. I do not, when I start the book, uh, I do not give everything away right off hand. You have to read the book and learn with the characters. I do have on YouTube a soundtrack that I made, uh, music that I write to when I write that, that, um, that series. I mean, I have other songs that I have, but I can't, that are, uh, otherwise, oh, sorry, but, um, no, but the, the one I have made myself from taking loops and putting them together to make a certain sound with it to a certain chapter or something, I have three up right now. I will have more than a total of, I believe, 16 in the, uh, in the, the soundtrack list. They aren't, they're not much video that they sound, they're just soundtracks. And so, if you want to go check them out, there's a little bit of synopsis there. And a little bit of insight into the chapters, like Anger in the Forest and Into the Dungeons. There's a little bit of hint in the book that I give so if you want to go check those out uh, it'll be down below but I am nervous and so excited to have this happen somebody is officially reading my book all right guys so that is all for today uh, I gotta get some writing done I gotta edit this get it ready for uh, uploading when I have internet but um, I'm gonna have Links down below in the description. Check them out. Uh, writing, they will be uh, some stories, music. So um, if you like this uh, video, please uh, like it, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.